Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's tutorial, I will demonstrate how to draft, cut and sew an all-round built-up neckline design. For this particular all-round built-up neckline, the top edge of the built-up neckline is close to the neck. So I will advise that your fabric should be stretchy so that it is comfortable for the wearer of the final outfit. Hi, my name is Ayo and welcome to 011 Clothing Tutorials. On this channel, I upload DIYs, pattern drafting and sewing tutorials. If you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do so and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So now, let's get right into the tutorial. Thank you! This is my half scale basic bodice pattern which I drafted using the bust dart technique. The link to the tutorial will be above and in the description box below. I have deliberately not drawn the front and the back neckline curves. This is because I do not want to use the general 3 inches by 3 inches and 3 inches by 1 inch for the front and the back neckline curves. I want to calculate these values myself. My bust circumference measurement is 39 inches. So I will divide my bust circumference by 12 and this is equal to 3.25 inches. So for the front neckline, I will use 3.25 inches for the front neck width. And for the front neck depth, I will use 3.25 also. For the back neckline, I will use 3.25 inches for the back neck width and for the back neck depth, I will divide 3.25 inches by 3 and this is equal to 1.08 inch and I will approximate this value to 1 inch. I will now go ahead to draw the front and the back neckline curves using these values that I just calculated. So for the front neckline, I will use a value of 3.25 inches by 3.25 inches. Using my French curve, I will now draw the front neckline curve like this. For the back neckline curve, I will use a value of 3.25 inches and 1 inch. Using my ruler and my French curve, I will now draw out the back neckline curve like this. I will now alter the patterns into a built up neckline. I will start with the back pattern. From the neck point, I will go ahead to measure and mark one quarter of an inch on the shoulder line like this. I will extend the shoulder line beyond the neck point like this using a pencil. On the new shoulder extension, I will measure and mark half an inch starting from the neck point like this. From this half an inch point, I will draw a vertical line upwards like this. I will now measure and mark 2 inches on this vertical line, like this. I will square out a horizontal line from the 2 inch point. I will now connect this horizontal line to the 1 inch zip allowance at the center back like this. I will come down by half an inch from the top edge of the built up neckline at the center back. I will now connect these two points together with a slight curve like this. 
I will also connect these two points together like this with a slight curve to give me the outer edge of the raised neckline. So now I'm done with the back, I will now move over to the front pattern. From the neck point, I will measure and mark one quarter of an inch on the shoulder line like this. I will extend the shoulder line beyond the neck point like this. Also, from the neck point, I will measure and mark half an inch on the new shoulder line extension like this. From this half an inch point, I will draw a vertical line upwards like this. On this vertical line, I will measure and mark 2 inches. From the base of the front neck depth, I will measure and mark 2 inches upwards like this at the center front. I will now connect these two points together with a curve like this. I will use a pencil for this because this is not the final curve. From this 2 inch point, I will go in by 1 inch. I will now go ahead and connect this 1 inch point to the 1 quarter inch point on the shoulder line like this with a curve. I will also connect these two points together like this with a curve also. Starting from the center front, I will measure and mark 2 inches along the top edge of the raised neckline. I will now connect it to the bust point like this using a ruler. I will separate the front pattern from the back pattern like this. Then I will slash open the front pattern from the raised neckline down to the bust point, like this. I will close the bust dart a little bit till I have an opening at the top edge of the built up neckline that is equal to 1 inch. I will now sellotape the part of the bust dart that I close in place like this. I will place a piece of paper underneath the neckline opening and I will also sellotape it in place. I will now redraw the upper curve of the raised neckline like this. This is no longer part of the pattern. I will trim off the excess paper. This is the back pattern. I will now measure the length of the back neckline close the shoulders and I will compare with the front and I will make sure that the two are equal in length. And the length after measurement gave me a value of 7 inches and a quarter. So I will measure the front shoulders and the built up neckline also and it is longer than the back. So I'll measure and mark 7 inches and a quarter on the front shoulders like this. 
I will now redraw the top edge of the built up neckline like this. This is no longer part of the pattern. I will now go ahead and cut out the front and the back patterns like this. This is the front pattern. It is very important that the top edge of the built up neckline is curved. It should not be slanted. If it is a slanted line, you will have a V shape at the top edge when you cut out the pattern on the fabric and this is not what we want. We want the top edge of the fabric to be curved. I have painted the front piece on my fabric along the folded edge. The center front will be cut on fold and I use half an inch seam allowance all around the pattern except for the side seam where I use 1 inch side seam allowance. I will now cut it out. I will notch the dart positions, both the bust darts and the waist darts. This is the back. I used half an inch seam allowance all around the pattern except for the side seam where I used one inch side seam allowance. There is one zip allowance at the center back so there is no need for any, any seam allowance at the center back. I will now go ahead and cut out the back pattern. I will also notch the dart position. So these are the front and the back pattern pieces which I have gone ahead to cut out on the lining fabric as well. And I have already interfaced the wrong size of the lining pieces at the built up neckline area. So the first thing I will do is to go ahead and sew all the darts in place including the boss darts on the front pieces as well both the main fabric and also the lining fabric will be sewn the darts on both the main fabric and the lining fabric will be sewn So now I have gone ahead to sew all the darts in place as you can see. The right size of the lining and the main exterior fabrics are together. I will now go ahead and sew the top edges of the front and the back necklines in place using half an inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done as you can see. After stitching, I notch the seam allowances and then I understitch the seam allowance to the neckline of the lining pieces. I did the same thing for the two back pieces as well. I will now place the two back pieces on top of the front piece like this, right side to right side. I will open up the front and the back like this and then I will paint the front and the back shoulders in place, side to right side, making sure that the same lines match up. After painting, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch it in place using half an inch sewing allowance.
So now the stitching has been done, as you can see. And this is what the shoulders and the built-up neckline looks like on the wrong side. You should notch the built-up neckline area so that the neckline can relax and lie flat. Next, I will go ahead and sew the side seams together using one inch sewing allowance. I will also fix this zip to the center back of the two back pieces. So now that has been done and this is the final look of the close fitting all round built up neckline. If you find this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, share this video with your friends who are interested in sewing and do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done so already. See you in my next tutorial, bye and thank you so much for watching.